Hey guys, it's August 5th, I'm Chris. I'm Mike. Our first story today is super cool. It's straight out of a sci-fi movie. Um, scientists have basically used skin cells and put them in the brain and created artificial brain cells. Um, now this could revolutionize different treatments for neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and things like that. It is mind-blowing. Yeah, I think that's pretty much one of the biggest things that could happen for us in terms of science. Alzheimer's is such a devastating disease. Any of those degenerative diseases are just killers. So anytime I hear news like that, I... But I feel like we've been hearing progress in that stuff for a long time, you know? Well, the stem cell thing has been kind of like slowly amping up and I think now over the last few years a lot of studies are actually coming to fruition. So we're seeing like what these things can do and this is gonna be a really cool I think there's gonna be a lot of implications for um, kind of evolving the human mind like imagine just using these stem cells on a regular human brain and what you can maybe learn with a few extra. Yeah, I think first stop though is let's break down some of these. In fact, it's funny, House of Cards last season like brought in one of the storylines how the government wasn't investing enough into research and to stop diseases like this. So it's definitely like a common discussion I think like out there that they need to put more time and money into this. So this is good news. True, true. Um, a picture, a pic picture for Pixels uh, came online yesterday and for me, it's completely sold me on the movie. The movie stars uh, Adam Sandler and Peter Dinklage, and the photo is of Peter Dinklage with a rocket launcher. Who's the girl in it? Is it Anna Kendrick? No. No, um, Amber something. Uh, I don't okay, know. Okay, but there's she a girl. She looks pretty. In it. You can look it up online. But the the movie itself is based on a very sh uh, short film about uh, '80s video game characters invading New York. I think it's going to be killer at the box office. Yeah, I think Adam Sandler is definitely due for a big okay. a big movie. I mean, he makes his little fun grown-ups movies, I think mostly just to hang out with his boys and have a good time, and it's great. But every once in a while, he comes out with a movie that actually ends up doing something, and it's about time that we see him do something. So throwing some science fiction into the mix, that's that sounds like a winner And it, it's to me. directed by uh, Chris Columbus, too, and he's got a pretty good track writer for, for comedies. Yeah, and he did a Harry Potter movie, too. I mean, yeah, didn't two, he do the three. first Harry Potter, three, I think? Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Come on, Chris Columbus, you can do this. Um, True Detective Season 2, we've heard a lot of rumors about potential cast, Colin Farrell, you know, a bunch of guys. Rumors, rumors, rumors. Just in make an announcement already. I can't take it anymore. Well, it looks like they are poised to make an announcement within the next couple weeks, but Vince Vaughn now is at the top of the list for uh, one of the potential characters. I read that, actually, and I read, uh, I think Variety reported on it as well, and Hollywood Reporter, and one of the rumors is that he would be the big, the big baddie, like the bad villain. You know, I would so love that. That, would, that would be pretty interesting. So if you get two major actors, guy and a girl, facing off against Well, apparently, guy. yeah, there's going to be four major characters in this one, so they're kind of it up from the last uh, last season. I wonder it's one of those first times that I think like the negotiations are taking a long time because so many actors want in that they're just sitting in a room with 50 photos of every major star out there going I mean we could get everybody and they're all willing to get paid nothing I mean it's uh, what McConaughey did and Woody Harrelson did last year it's just such a great and what it did for their careers too. huge which I can imagine fun it could be could do that I can't imagine any star basically turning us down no not at all uh, this is a weird and kind of sad story. Um, Trayvon Reed, um, a seven foot one, top basketball recruit. He was going to start in Maryland in the fall, full scholarship. Sounds like a great story so far. He was at a 7-Eleven. I guess he had, uh, you know, was a little hungry, wanted some sweets, uh, but he didn't have any cash on him. So he ended up pocketing a Twix ice cream bar. Um, a couple of plain clothes cops saw him, followed him outside, and busted him. And while they were making the arrest, he resisted, tried to run away. A couple cop, uh, one of the cops broke a couple fingers. So, um, so he's lost his eighty thousand dollars scholarship. It's, it's lost. It's, it's gone. not even up for discussion. It's no, done. It's done for a frozen Twix ice cream bar. Well, and uh, two packets of Reese's peanut butter cups. So okay, about well now, six dollars in total. Now it's gotten out of control. Twix, I was gonna say not worth it, but a couple of Reese's. I mean, have you I've had? I've never had a Twix ice cream bar. I'm it's kind of now. I'm not worth not worth eighty grand. <laughs> Definitely not worth eighty grand. That sucks. That's bad news. And how do they not just cut him some slack on that? Uh, that's what I'm wondering. Is how old two, are these it takes kids? Two how old plane, is he? He's like 18, 17. I mean, come on, you're eighteen years old. These guys, I know for a fact. I know a girl that tutors these guys. They work their asses off. He made a mistake. Smack him on the wrist, but don't take his life away from him. I know, especially the whole like situation with the cops is that you know like over an ice you're gonna arrest somebody over an ice cream bar like. Yes, I know it's breaking the law, it's stealing, mm -hmm. but I'd like to know more about these cops. Sounds to me like somebody had an agenda here. Um, Conspiracy theory. <laughs> speaking of uh, basketball, now finally it looks like Kevin Love might have been traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers. The only hitch is that 
they can't make it official because Andrew Wiggins signed his entry-level contract, it means he can't be traded for 30 days. But this is a mega deal and it's gonna reshape the entire... Uh, but Eastern from Conference. what I've heard from, I'm not a big basketball guy, from a few people, Andrew Wiggins is is gonna be leaving. Like that's gonna happen. And that in fact, they stopped manufacturing his jersey to be sold. Yeah, it's it, they're pretty sure that he is the big centerpiece going back to the Timberwolves in return for Kevin Love. And there's gonna be other players going to other teams. Um, but so who's gonna stop Cleveland next year? Nobody. I it mean, looks like they have suddenly with LeBron, with uh, Kyrie Irving, and now with uh, Kevin Love, it's a devastating trio that's going to just dominate. I just, I'm not a big basketball guy. I would just say to all other NBA teams, just take the year off. Just go home, relax, kick it, you know, don't steal any Twix bars and enjoy your uh, vacation. Yeah, I, I definitely think Cleveland is going all in for next year. They're going to win it. Um, they're kind of maybe sacrificing the future just a little bit by trading away some of their really how, young star how players. How does Cleveland but, have the money in this franchise to do all this? Like, why is this such a success story? Well, LeBron is going to bring in the money. That's, okay. He's there. He's going to revitalize. And if they win the championship, the, the city's just going to go crazy. It's going to be great for the area. I'm going to be staying out of Cleveland for the next little while, guys. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.